Okay, developers, coders, you've been waiting for this from Microsoft Loop. It was announced about six months ago, apparently, according to socials. It is here, code blocks, code block components. So let's take a look at some of the capabilities as we're working with code in Microsoft Loop. Right, we, I'm not much of a coder or a developer. I use PowerShell a bit and I remind myself how to use it sometimes, but I am gonna find this useful for sharing commands. What can a code block do? Well, first of all, how do we trigger this off? We will use either a forward slash and type code, there it is, or apparently the uh, markup language does work too. So uh, double tap that and then enter and away we do it. We've got a code block. Um, first thing about this code block is that uh, I can see the numbered lines. I can change uh, to highlight syntax to match the language that I'm about to use. Um, I can grab this code here that I might use occasionally when I'm trying to set a organizational news site within uh, a SharePoint environment. And you'll notice that as I've copied that in, it has uh, kept the formatting, the colors, uh, and helped me to identify pieces of the code uh, recognizable in that syntax. Uh, there are a few lines. Uh, I guess this isn't really the best way to, to describe it, but if there were more lines, I could click and show all or just allow it to collapse. So there is that, being able to um, show just some of the code or not. Uh, also copying that code and dropping that into a program. So let's just copy that with the code at the top right hand corner, go over to a new uh, PowerShell script and I can copy and paste it in. So it's kept all of that formatting. It's nice and clean and uh, it's not um, you know, adding any additional formatting. Uh, we've got um, we've got the line numbers, we can expand it. Right, so what about taking this loop and being able to share it? I've got the loop added to a loop page. Um, I might want to just take this whole page, of course, copy that as a loop component, jump into um, the email that I have created earlier, and I'm sharing this code with Laura so I can paste that in, and the code block is there with the whole page. Maybe I don't want the whole page. Maybe I just want just the code block. So if I go back over to the code block here and just copy the uh, hover over. Oh, there's line counts. I can turn that on and off if I need to over here. Um, but I might want to just copy the component, create the component for just the block of code. So that's it. I can copy that, drop that also into a conversation. So here's a group chat with Matt and Laura. And paste that in there. And that becomes the components around it. Um, one final thing, does it actually show up in a Teams chat? Let's discard that and maybe, let's see, if can we create this as a loop component for code? So it's not there yet within the drop down menus of Teams and I don't expect it to be in the um, email one either. So if you are starting a code block, then it looks like you can do it from the page within a loop workspace. Expect to see it available maybe uh, within uh, components in the Teams chat and Outlook um, as drop down components you can start and share, but clearly we can take the whole component, copy the link to it, drop it into those places and share it with uh, team members so that they can contribute. So there you have it. Um, a little while in the waiting, but we've got it. It's there. It's going to be improved. Let people know what you think. If you found this useful, then of course, um, do within the loop app, use the help button there, give the feedback on the component uh, and let the team know if it's something that you like, don't like, or what you would suggest changing, maybe adding additional languages or uh, other formatting that you might like to see there too. Code blocks. Good stuff, Microsoft Loop. See you again soon.